Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Kids. Today we're going to be looking at creating some moving, uh, a moving ball, okay, inside of P5.js uh, using the arrow keys. So let's go on and get started with uh, just some basic variables that we want in here. So uh, first off, let's say something like uh, var x is equal to 200, var y is equal to 200, uh, var d for diameter here is going to be 40 uh, and let's go on and leave the background and everything the way that it is and today we're just going to again it's just going to be a 2d circle we're not making a three-dimensional ball or anything and we're going to have it go across the screen so ellipse x y d d um, so that we can kind of see here notice that is going to be our ball okay um, this is very simple um, so I'm gonna go on and stop this so it doesn't give us any errors right now and we'll do this in kind of parts so first thing is we want this ball to be able to move uh, left and right and you know what let me zoom in a little bit for you guys uh, so that, that that looks okay so the first off we'll do is if key is pressed uh, we want it to do something like um, uh, if, whoops, um, if key code is equal to left arrow x uh, minus, whoops, mi minus, minus. Okay, so now if we look at this and I hit this left arrow key notice oh we can move left but we can't move right we can't move up we can't move down so then we need an if else statement here okay so else if key code is equal to right arrow uh, and then we'll do x plus plus all right and let me maybe make that a bit smaller all right so now we can move right we can move left okay good now we need then to go on and maybe do the same thing but make it so that we go um, up and down okay so the next one then is we're going to be doing another if statement here uh, and let me make a little bit of space down here All right, so we'll do another if statement. So if key code is equal to um, up arrow, uh, we'll do y. Uh, uh, let's do y minus minus. Okay, and then um, else if key code is equal to down arrow. We want y plus plus, whoops, plus plus. So now we should be able to go up with the up arrow, down with the down arrow, left and right. Okay. Um, now this is this is good and all, but at least let's maybe make um, maybe make a little bit of. Uh, I don't know, maybe a reset. So any time that we go and we get close to the edge, because again, this is kind of maybe the beginning of a game. So like, let's say that if you touch the edge, okay, touch, just touch it, all right? Um, you go back and you restart into the center, okay? So let's. this is a little bit of a bonus here. So we want something like, um, we, need, we need this, remember, for the x-axis as well as the y-axis. So we need something like, if x is, uh, let's say, equal to the width, uh, we need to say x equal to 200, uh, y equal to 200. Okay, so let's, let's double check that. So if we move all the way to the width, oh, uh, and now notice here, it, this is checking just x. We need x plus d because uh, we have that diameter here that we want so uh, let's give that a try now oh it's actually a little we need to probably do 
Uh, D divided by two here. Divided by two. Yeah, there we go. So whenever it touches the edge, boop, and it restarts. Okay, so then now let's go on and uh, do another uh, statement here for when it goes to this uh, zero instance. Okay, so we'll just do uh, the or here. So um, let's do or. So this is a double pipe here. Um, and we'll do zero. Well, we can technically just do uh, D divided by d divided by 2 okay is equal to 0 all right so we go this way boop oh hmm uh i'll just do x x minus D divided by two. Let's give that a try. Yeah. Okay. So that restarts it when it goes there. Okay. So we'll do the same thing now. Okay. Uh, and all we have to do here is copy this, paste it down here, and instead of width, we do height. This needs to change to y. This needs to change to Excuse me. Having a hard day. All right, so let's go on now and double check these. Whoops, don't need to save anything. Let's go back on up. And it restarts, we go down. And it kind of restarts. So this here is going to be kind of the basics for some sort of game, maybe like um, some sort of Pac-Man game or some sort of ball game where if you go out of bounds, um, you die and you have to reset. Maybe later on we can put in some obstacles or something else in here. But again, this is just a way to learn to kind of utilize the arrow keys um, and moving around with the arrow keys with uh, JavaScript and P5.js. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.